baseline, baseline, baseline. Here we go, here we go. Day one, today's when it starts. This is the start of our journey for this season. I've said this before, but every day that we come into work is an opportunity for us to control what mentality we have, what approach we have, how we get better every single day. Control what you can control every single day. Trust in this group, let's get better, and let's have fun doing it. Each season takes on a different story, but I think this year our guys are just not satisfied. Our guys know we have more to do, more to prove, more to earn, and that's just been the mentality that's been driving them all off season. What we're gonna talk about, especially early in season, is our game plan and our recipe for success. Remember that phrase I hit you guys with yesterday, our winning mentality? So all the things that we're gonna talk about now, our habits and stuff, the little details, everything that we go from defense, offense, pick and roll, drive and kick, all this stuff, it's our recipe, it's our game plan for success. You guys bought into that last year, keep buying into it this year. The motivation for our team this year is just to build on what we did last year, to really keep it the same type of edge because it carried us a long way. We'll obviously be better than you know the past years, but I mean, we got the taste of the playoffs, we know what it takes. All we got to do is just continue to get better, come together as one, and just keep pushing to get farther and deeper in the playoffs. I think it's the same thing as it's always been. You know, we want to come in and compete. Somebody coming. <laughs> Everybody coming, bro. If it ain't 12, it's 15. It's definitely how we're built as a team when it comes to practice. We want to make sure everybody who's coming in as new feels included, feels welcome, feels the intensity that we're bringing so we can all bring it together because, I mean, we're going to bring that intensity no matter what, but, you know, if we ever have a day where we may need someone else to bring it for us a little bit more, we can always have each other back. So we're always going to be dogs. We're always going to have that intensity, and that's what makes practice more fun. You're to the ball side. The ball is the problem. You hear me say it all the time. The ball is the problem. I feel like we all have the same mindset. And never be satisfied, always wanting to get better. And you can see it each and every day with how we work. As we get better and better as a team, especially the guys who have already been here, the difference between good and great gets smaller and smaller between the team. So the little things are going to matter even more. We can be one point away from winning a game. You can be one point away from everything. And that's what we're trying to cut down, every little thing, so we can have more success. No matter what the statistics say, how we continue to try to get better, we know it's areas we still can improve on. But how can all of us? Doesn't matter if you're point guard, your center, can we have hands? It makes a difference. It makes a difference. It's winning mentality. Every off season, you know, we were very intentional trying to really understand where we've got to get better. You know, it's easy to just say that, but you know, what's the film showing us? What are the numbers showing us? That's our coaching staff working closely with our front office staff and our analytics groups to really just dive into the numbers more. What are the numbers saying that we got to work on and what are our eyes telling us? So what we try to do is look at those numbers, gather the film, deliver a message, but then very intentional about what we actually do on the court. What drills are we emphasizing day one in camp? All these little details are drills that we actually do so that when we can have those aha moments with our guys and say, remember what our priorities are this year, A, B, C, and D, this is why we do drills A, B, C, and D. So that over the course of the season, we're hopefully seeing progress, but when we have to have those healthy reminders, we can always fall back on. You remember day one, we emphasize this drill. This is why we're doing it again and again and again. And that's how you formulate a habit. It's been fun to watch Jaws' growth. He leads by example in a lot of different ways, not just with how he plays, but the extra work that he's putting in. Through all those things, that just builds a confidence that you know what you're doing. You know what our team needs to be doing. Are we going to talk because we have to? Because we want to. And we need to. I feel like, you know, I just have to, you know, lead by example. You know, just show, you know, the younger guys the way, how we work here, you know, with the Grizzlies. More urgency on our communication. Get organized. I'm going to start speeding it up. I'm going to start changing the drill more rapidly. Anybody can talk. Talk with more force, more urgency. Five man one way. Three man down and back. Three man one way. I feel like everybody just got to be held accountable. One topic brought up. Job, tell everybody. You know, if I'm going to yell at somebody for, you know, a mistake they made or something they did, you know, I expect the same thing from them. And, you know, it starts with me. I know if, you know, I mess up, I'm going to let everybody know it's my bad and, you know, that I'm going to correct it and fix it. Be ready to shoot, eh? Run them off. Run them off. Yeah. Work on it. That's what we're here for. Work on it. Right. You jump from right here. So as he take off, you sprint here. So as he take off, you sprint here. So all you go right here instead of jumping from right here. Now jump. Get back, get back. There you go. At the end of the day, you gotta be able to use your voice. Uh, you gotta use your voice in different ways. I think he's doing a great job so far in training camp, early in the season, finding those moments to, as I've said before, challenge his teammates and uplift his teammates. Come on, let's, let's get in the habit of talking. We gotta be able to hear each other. We're playing in front of thousands. We gotta be able to hear you. We got it. No fly by.
Let's take it off the ground, content. Last one, Trip. Make it a good one, Trip. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. 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 What we got? What we got? Hey, together on three. One, two, three. Together. You know, we're always built on just getting better. You know, every single day, now it's every single year, how are we just going to raise our level? You know, it's something that we've been talking about as a coaching staff. How are we going to raise our level in all aspects of what we do? Not just on the court, it's our preparation off of the court. It's what we're doing in the weight room, in the training room every single day. We all have our own individual chips just to prove everybody wrong who says anything about you. One, it makes practice competitive. We're just going at each other, but everyone has the same goals. Everyone has that chip on their shoulder because they know they're talented, but they also work hard, which is something that's rare. You don't see that combo a lot, and that's a lot of the times that's what our front office seeks out in terms of finding players. You want to find that combo so we can get along with each other and have the same goals and it's natural. I'm just happy to have all these guys here. It just makes it makes it a good locker room. It's huge having Jaron back fully healthy. The last year plus has been trying for him. But the great thing about it is his care factor for being the, the, the best teammate and contributor for this team is motivated throughout this entire process. Naturally coming back from injury, there's ups and downs. So there's limitations on how much you can do on the court, uh, how much you can do in the weight room. There's different phases of recovery. He was committed to every single day, giving it his all, having no setbacks, being fully healthy when he came back at the end of last season, got great opportunity at the end of the regular season, contributed mightily in our playoff run. But now to have a healthy off season, it allowed him just to take another step in his own game. JJ just asked, can I guard that any better? I'm like, you're great. You had a contest, they shot a floater. It's exactly what we're gonna live with. Jaron loves to compete. So, you know, me watching him on the sideline, you know, this past season when he was injured, um, just him getting frustrated, you know, wishing he was able to be on the floor, um, just shows, you know, what type of, you know, player and person he is, you know, wanting to be out there. We watch him work each and every day to, you know, get to this point to, you know, be healthy. Me being able to train all summer, me ending last year healthy, and coming into this year healthy really isn't anything I have to think about too much. I feel 110. I don't really have anything I'm compensating on or anything like that. I just, I feel like myself. So I'm gonna just go out there and be me. Hey! Ming, I'm here. I'm here. I got eggs. I got eggs. Take, take melt, take melt. I got, take corner, Kyle. I'm with you. I'm with you, 12. Gang on three, gang on three. One, two, three. Yeah. For us to have him back and have him healthy is, you know, a plus for us because he does so much on the floor. Seven, one, can shoot the three, can put it on the floor. Oh! oh. Ah. Bucket. Score inside and he also fends very well for us. Just have a guy like that on the floor just makes our offense and defense so much better. Would you let me on a break pick you up in a game if we had time? You play. I'm getting a little excited. Bye bye. Rear view. Yeah. 100%. I'm trying to be a leader. I'm trying to be that voice that people can go to if they need help, people can go to for energy. Good, Jay. Let's go. We got to talk loud. Oh, I'm with you. Let's get it. Look at Jay. So inspirational. Look at that boy. I have to make sure everybody's locked in, everybody has their energy, everybody has confidence, everybody knows that, you know, no matter what happens on any end, we gotta keep going, especially younger guys, they may feel that, because I used to feel that. No need to get frustrated. Even I get, fr even I get frustrated, no need, no need. At the end of the day, me getting a training camp, me getting my feet under me is definitely, you know, all positive. I can, I can just go out there and play my game. He's a spirit leader for us. He has so many intangibles that he provides on the floor offensively and defensively. But it's just a credit to his care factor and want to contribute as much as he can to this team to win, to go through that challenging journey from getting hurt and getting back fully healthy. And he hasn't looked back ever since. Good camp. Hey. It's over. Yeah. Down trip. Oh, talk to him. That's what you on. That's what you on. Tell him what you on. Tell him what you on. Tell him what you on. Get up. Push at it. Push at it. Two, three. Game time.
Get a win, White. I got ball, I got ball. I got two of them. Where you at? Where you at? Stay through, stay through. You want that smoke? You ain't slamming on me, cuz. Hey, I need a lob. It was nice. Damn, you got that? That's the first time I seen you dunk off free. Go get that. Tell him hold that. Hold that. You a big? Come on, coach, who's in? Anybody, yeah. anybody can play. Interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's really in right now. Just play a good five minutes of basketball and uh, have fun. Basketball. <laughs> Team Ozzy, one, two, three. Dang. I'm so excited to have our fans back in the building, and I, I know our players are for sure miss the fans. It's just the whole energy about them adds to the game, and that's how the game is played. Any interaction with them, whether it's out on the street or it's in the arena, is great. Like I just, I mean, I, we miss them. Nobody wants to play uh, in the MD gym. We go out to you know play for our fans and also you know our families and be able to have them back in the arena. It's terrific. Uh, it's who we play for. So just be able to, you know, feed off their energy and, you know, go out and get wins for them, you know, in our home arena is, you know, big time. To know that the Grizzlies mean so much to our great fans and to be able to bring people together for the love of this team, you're going to feel that energy, you're going to feel that love and care. And as I always say, that just provides a great responsibility for us as coaches and players to go out there and pour our hearts and souls into what we do on the floor for them. I hope our fans are excited about seeing an evolution in what we've done the last two years in terms of our team. It's an exciting team. You've got players that are out there and they care about doing all the little things that lead to winning. It's the laying your heart and soul on the line, competing and getting into your opposition and making it tough on them. You know, that's been a staple here in Memphis for many years, from grit and grind to now this next generation. I feel like we all hungry right now, so you're gonna see a hard working, hard playing team out there who's hungry for more. We always know we're gonna be doubted just because we're young, just because of who we are in general. We're gonna have that same intensity we always have. We're gonna bring that winning attitude. We're gonna be the dogs we know because we know that everybody has each other back and then the fans have our back. You'll see it. It'll be it'll be perfect. <laughs>